Hi again Year 12, Mr Vinod here. We're going to work through a problem where we're given the percentage composition and we're going to work our way all the way through to empirical formula and molecular formula. So the data I've been given for this question, I've been told that vitamin C has the percentage composition of 40.92% of carbon, 4.58% hydrogen and 54.50% oxygen. I've been told that the molar mass of vitamin C is 176 grams per mole. From this information, the question is asking me to go and find the empirical and then the molecular formula of vitamin C. So let's have a go at working this one through. So first of all, the first step again is to assume we are working with a 100 gram sample and therefore all of our masses um, become apparent from the percentages. So if I have 40.92% carbon, I can just say I'm working with 40.92 grams. Same applies for hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen. If I have 4.58% hydrogen and 54.50% oxygen, I can just turn those percentages straight into masses because the percentage composition is a percentage mass composition. So the first step is to get the masses, which is quite straightforward. The second step now is to turn those masses into a number of moles. So for carbon, to turn it into a number of moles, I go mass divided by molar mass. The mass I've been given is 40.92 grams, and the molar mass of carbon is 12 grams per mole, again from the periodic table. That gives me 3.41 mole. Working through hydrogen and oxygen in the same way, Hydrogen having 4.58 grams and a molar mass of 1 gives me 4.58 mole of hydrogen. For oxygen having 54.50 grams and a molar mass of 16 grams per mole for oxygen, I come out with 3.41 mole of oxygen. So from my percentage composition I've turned it into a mass and then I've turned it into a number of moles of each element in my 100 gram sample. So what I need to do next is I need to simplify and round these numbers. So I divide each number of moles by the smallest, and the smallest in this case is 3.41, shown for both carbon and oxygen. So if I divide all of them by 3.41, I come out with these numbers here. Carbon and oxygen become one, and hydrogen becomes 1.34. So now to simplify this, I don't want to have C1H1.34 O1. That's not a very logical and practical formula. So I need to round to the nearest whole number. Problem is hydrogen is actually quite far away from one. It's one and a third. So what I'm going to do in this case is to get rid of that third, I'm going to multiply each of my uh, numbers by three. Because anything that's rounded to a third if you multiply it by 3, it gets rid of that third. So when I multiply each number by 3, 1 times 3 becomes 3, 1.34 times 3 becomes 4, and 1 again becomes 3. These are now whole numbers that are simple and easy to use and better reflect the ratio of number of moles present in our compound. So next I'm going to express that as an empirical formula showing me the simplest whole number ratio of elements present, and that comes up as C3H4O3. And that's the empirical formula for vitamin C. So we started with our percentage composition. We had 40.92% carbon, 4.58% hydrogen, and 54.50% oxygen. And from those percentages, we've got to an empirical formula, C3H4O3. Now the second part of the question is to work out the molecular formula. This is the ratio, for every three carbons I'll have four hydrogens and three oxygens. That's the ratio shown by the empirical formula, but I want to know for vitamin C, what is the actual type and number of atoms present in that molecule? And so we're gonna go through another number of steps. So first of all, I need to work out the molar mass of my empirical formula. So of this C3H4O3, I need to know what is the molar mass of this. So I have three carbons, I have four hydrogens, and I have three oxygens. Carbon being 12, hydrogen being 1, oxygen being 16. 
So I, I add all those numbers together and that gives me a molar mass of 88 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of C3H4O3, my empirical formula. So now keep in mind, my molecular formula is going to be a multiple of my empirical formula. Are there going to be three carbons, four H's and three O's in my molecular formula? Or could there be six carbons, eight hydrogens and six oxygens? Is it going to be a multiple of two or three or four or five? It has to be some multiple of my empirical formula. So I'm going to take the molar mass of vitamin C that I was given in my original question, which was 176 grams per mole, and I'm going to divide that by the molar mass I've just calculated of my empirical formula. So if I take the molar mass of vitamin C, which is 176 grams per mole, divide it by the molar mass of my empirical formula, which is 88 grams per mole, that gives me a number 2. So 2 is what I have to multiply my empirical formula by to get my molecular formula. So let's go through and do that. So there is my empirical formula, C3H4O3. Multiplying it by 2, I'm going to get 3 times 2 is 6 carbons, 4 times 2 is 8 hydrogens, and 3 times 2 is 6 oxygens. And that's how I convert my empirical formula into a molecular formula. So here I knew that the ratio was 3 carbons to 4 hydrogens to 3 oxygens, but I had no idea, is that the correct uh, actual number, or did I have 6 to 8 to 6, or 9 to 12 to 9? What was my actual number in the molecule? And now, having done my calculation, I can see that my molecular formula was exactly twice my empirical formula, and came out as C6H806. Hope you found that helpful. Cheers.